Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Mod Fault in Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch, Niner, Veronica, Juju, and Kelsey Love. Kelsey. The barrels. Yep. Get away. Now, hopefully, we can find a doctor here that won't cheat me out of of uh, medical services like Doc Mitchell did. Seriously. I gave him the hundred caps, he said Should have lens a ride, jackass. <laughs> he said, Okay, you're down. Oh, I'm knackered. You know I had the worst night's sleep last night. And it didn't reset my radiation. The camp's out, some prick comes along, shakes me, wakes me up. He starts running on about bottle caps. Don't worry though, I took care of it. Show me his stupid face that went up to bed. The Bottoms. hell is that? Huh. Yeah, I'm sure it's nothing. Relax. Raises more eyebrows. More eyebrows. <laughs> Why is Kelsey staying in the back anyway? Yeah, usually towns on out uh, buildings on outskirts of towns like this are usually the high have the highest chance of getting hit by raiders since they can just sneak over here and barrel down and kill everyone and usually they can get away fast enough. So that's why they aren't typically habited. Why the buildings in the more dense urban areas are habited while well, little towns well little houses like that wouldn't be. Why don't you build a real cafe, you ghost town jerks? Oh man, I hate this place already. <laughs> real cafe, yeah. Howdy? Don't listen to a word Nobark says. He spouts nothing but nonsense. Howdy. Over here! Oh. Hey there. Guess we found Stan. Interesting. Howdy. And here we got a nice little feature from Project Nevada. Sunglasses. That little sunglasses and helmets have visual overlay things like this. What's up? I found beauty. Thank you. Welcome, Willow. And Kelsey here. I promised I would travel with you if we found beauty. So, should we talk about this? Iron out some details? Yes, let's do this. I'd like to be very clear about how we're doing how we're going to do things. Oh, good. Is there anything in particular you want to talk about? Yes. I can't fight with anything other than a gun. I'm lousy at anything else. Uh, okay, I can fight with my fists if I'm cornered. 
by a rad roach. I'd love to learn more and would be willing to study, but for now I'm pretty useless. I just wanted to be really clear about that. So, don't expect me to fight with anything other than a gun, okay? I won't do it. Not with my skills the way they are now. No problem. I don't really care. I prefer guns myself. Oh, I'm glad you don't mind. I read books and magazines about boxing to learn what I can, but they're hard to find. I've only ever found a couple. But, if I can read enough of them, I figure eventually I'll get good enough to be able to use better weapons. Kick some ass in a fight. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! You know what would be even better? If we found someone to train me. Are you any good with your fists? No, oh, sorry, I can't train you. I don't have the skills. Oh. Well, maybe we'll find someone else who can. I have something else to tell you. I will ask you to carry items I don't let you use or touch. Well, that's no fun. I can look at them, can't I? Alright, I'm willing to do that. Do you have anything else? I have something for you. It's a radio. My dad got them for me. One for me, and one for whoever I was traveling with. He was worried about me going out on my own, and thought this might make me that much safer. They're broken now, and can only receive messages, but since you have that computer with you, we'll be able to use them. You'll be able to talk to me because of it. I met someone else with one of those, and it worked great. All right. If that's everything, I guess we should consider ourselves partners for the road for a while. I can't think of anything else. Let's go. Cool. Speech and charisma. So, normally he's not even here. I don't even know why he was here. He's usually down in that direction. I guess they updated it to where he might be here eating. It kind of popped in weird. I don't know. Don't touch Mr. Killingsworth. Hey there. I have Moira. I'm thrilled to have Moira back, but I'd still like to find Chester. I don't know where Chester is. We followed the trail we had. Do you have any ideas? Uh, well, yeah, I do actually. It's kind of embarrassing. I think the guy I was traveling with might have him. He was helping me carry my stuff. We parted ways at the Mojave Outpost. He was the big, strong, quiet type. Great for carrying stuff, but not a lot of fun. He didn't talk much. I have an idea where we might find him. He wouldn't say much about himself, but he did talk a little bit about where he was going. Are you suggesting we track him down and get Chester? To get Chester? Well, yeah, I am. If you decide you're interested, I'll tell you everything I know about where he may be. Willow, would you consider ch changing your clothes? Well, Kelsey, Love, would you consider changing your clothes? Change my clothes? Do you know, I killed the geckos that were used to make my jacket. I think that makes it pretty special. Huh. You should ask Veronica, Veronica to train you. She loves punching things. I'm sure she could teach you a lot. I'm going to go ask her about it right now. Alright, go on and do it. Great. This woman tastes
or gumdrops, or junk food. Ooh, but Salisbury steak? Ugh. Huh. Pretty cla crappy sunglasses. I think we need some of those awesome NCR Rangers sunglasses, those authority glasses that uh, Ghost or whatever her name was was wearing. Hey. Okay, see ya. Alright, well, this is Novak. Now, now, before we head into this place and get Niner's business sorted out, I'm gonna uh, leave you guys, so, see you in the next episode. Bye.